Hi Felters, welcome. In this video today I'm going to show you how to do facial features of sheep and cows. We are going to start with the more simpler ones and then go on to slightly more complex ones and I'm going to show you this in the next 8-10 to 10 minutes. Hopefully this will be a really good go-to video for you. Let's get started. So I've got a basic head shape here and we're going to start by doing the mouth and the nose which are really quite simple, quite easy as you can see. Got the same on several of my um, simple sheep. So the head shape is oval, it's um, wider at the back and thinner at the nose. So that's a very easy general shape. And then you're going to take some carded wool. You can use whatever colour, I use a black or a brown for the mouth and the nose. Um, you could use a grey, you don't have to use the darkest colours. And you get it into a line and then you needle felt, so you, you get it in your hands, you give it a twirl and then you needle felt either side of it and this is very gentle needle felting just to sort of poke it in. If you over felt it, it will start to disappear into the felt. So there we go, really, really simple. Any extra bits, just trim them off at the edges, don't spend ages trying to get them all in. So the next part is the V part or the top part of the nose. It almost looks like you're giving him a moustache. So I do the point, make sure it's in the middle, and then do the top of the Vs when I'm happy with them. Anything you don't like, just pull it off and start again if you've done it really, really wrong. And you see I've got loads there on one side, so I'm not going to spend ages poking it all in. So I just cut it off and then tidy it up. There we go. And the next bit is a joining piece that goes down between the two and without this it doesn't look as good. So it really is important that you do this little joining piece and it just is the defining feature. So again, thin piece of wool and I do either end and then needle felt in the middle. There we go. So this one here, I've got he's got a pink nose because I wanted him to be a really cute sheep. So most sheep's noses aren't pink. See this one I've done as a dark nose on a lighter background. And this is just a little extra feature if you want to do this. You can define the nostrils a bit more so it comes out really well on that side, the other side doesn't come out as well, but I'm going to be putting a colour over, so. But it just, you can make these even a bit bigger if you want, because it looks quite natural, gives them bigger nostrils. So take a bit of pink, if you wanted to do pink, and then just put it in where that V is, and needle felt it in, and it, it's a really cute feature, and then you can put pink in the ears as well, and that all ties in nicely really simple but just to show you how easy it is with needle felting you can just pull it off and so I'm going to do a dark nose and I'm going to do dark in his ears as well um, things like the herdwicks they definitely have sort of a, uh, the dark colors you could even put a bit of cream in there you can experiment if you were doing a rainbow sheep you could put all sorts of different colors but I wanted to go dark so we're just needle felting a little dark bit in tidying it up I'm going to be doing a separate feature on hooves, paws, claws and I'm going to do a separate one on horns because I wanted to fit this all into 10 minutes but it's gone on a bit longer. It's really hard to get everything in. So we're going to do the eyes. Now I have got some plastic eyes, 4 mil. You don't have to. These are brown eyes, a lot bigger. There's lots of different eyes out there on Amazon and Etsy. You could even just needle felt black wool for the eyes, so you don't even have to buy anything. So I take a needle and I take it up from the nose and point it up towards where I think the eye would be and it keeps it in line. And then once you've got one worked out, push it through horizontally to the other side and that's where the other eye should be. So mark it with the needle, see if you think it looks right and then get my old faithful owl tool, which I, I just love, I really do. And when you're doing the eyes, point the owl tool backwards. Don't do them straight across, 
because as you put the eyes in and glue them, the backs will sort of meet in the middle. So point it back a bit, or just in, in a different direction to the other eye. So put them in, check you're happy with them. Are they level? If they're slightly out, it's not a problem. You just squidge them a bit. But if they're really wrong, then start again. I use a tiny bit of glue on the end. You don't need much. And then just put them in. I left the owl tool in the hole of the eye whilst I was doing it because it stops it from closing up at all. And it, it's just a lot easier. Sometimes you sort of can't see where the hole is. So just leave the owl tool in it. There we go, so the eyes are done. That's a simple sheep, very simple. That one, I've just needle felted black wool for his eyes and it's come out really good. So next, we're going to get some, we're softening the eye with, you can use a black, a brown, a gray, and you're just going to get a little thin piece or strip and circle it around the eye. And it honestly makes such a difference with everything you do. So just get a piece longer than you need, needle felt it all the way around, cut off the excess and tidy it up. So I'm going to show you it in close in a minute. So softened eye, undone eye. See the big difference, it looks so much softer. So here we are close up, so take a thin stretch, tiny little bit of wool, you don't need much. I normally twizzle it a little bit, circle it all around the eye. You can sort of do um, a point at the top and a point in the corner. Um, I do with the horse eyes, There's a lot. they're a lot more involved than this, so um, you do sort of drag it down into a point, but it's fine if you just circle it and then trim off any excess. Don't spend ages getting one tiny strand needle felted in. So there we go, much, much better. And these, you see with this sheep, I've just done light around the eyes because it fitted with the breed. He's supposed to be a Shetland type breed. And now we are going to do the eyelid. So take a piece of wool and fold it over a couple of times. So you're almost gonna get like a semicircular shape but here I needle felt this through and then fold it again and you get a nice edge and this it'll make sense when I put it on, you'll see. So just needle felt that down so it's almost like a half moon shape with one edge felted. And then we're gonna pop it over the top of the eye and you'll see the angle that we do it at. So angling backwards, part on the top and then part on the bottom so tack it in, have a look at it, and have the eyelid lower than it should be because you can needle felt it up and backwards a bit. So tack it in at either edge and then go round the back and merge it in with the rest of the, I use carded wool, I think I said already at the beginning, the roving or tops are used for coat and fur. I do a separate video on wools if you're confused about wools at all, so it kind of goes through it all. And so needle felt all around it. And then if it's too low, you can needle felt it up and backwards so he doesn't look like he's half asleep. Um, there's the other one done. So it just gives a little bit more character to the face. And now we're gonna just go down and define the nose, um, which if you look at horses and sheep, they have quite a chiseled nose or ridge along the tops. And this is where you start to get into a bit more detail. And also underneath, there'll be a little gullet underneath here. doesn't take long and squidge it a bit with your hands as well. So there we go, I've defined the nose and now we're going to move on to ears. Ears are quite good fun because whatever angle you set the ears at can affect the mood or the character of the sheep. So if we take some wool and we make it into a roundish shape but I always hold on to a fluffy bit at one side and this is how we're going to make the edges. So I needle felted it through and then pop it between two something hard, two bits of something hard so you don't hurt your fingers. And then just needle felt it down and this will give you a fantastic edge. And I'm holding it really tightly because that will make it thinner. So needle felt all around the edge, do either side. You end up with sort of a pointed bit and then needle felt that down because these sheep's ears, I don't want them to be pointed. I want them to be rounded at the end. There we go. And it's just a very simple, quick way 
of getting a good edge and then if you wanted pink ears pop your pink in but I'm going to do a little slightly darker color to match the nose so when you're doing this be very careful because this dark color can go through to the other side so it's really gentle felting it doesn't have to be um, well felted in it just has to stay on and then fold the ear in half and needle felt it through and that's literally it see there you go so you can have the ears pointing down up um, away from you all sorts of things and obviously it depends if you're going to put horns on as well where um, the horns are going to go so that fluffy bit at the end of the ears was great because that helps you attach it and also I do a little bit just inside the ears too so keep checking if you put them on at the wrong angle you can just pull them off and start again and then neaten up the top and the back I normally put a fluffy bit on the top of my sheep's heads because I just think it looks really nice there you go, there's a little fluffy bit. It's almost like a bit of a forelock. And obviously I do a lot of curly sheep. So all the curls come up and over. See there, there's all the curls. Give some character. So that's the sheep. So now we move on to a Highland cow. And this is a roving or tops. And you see, oh, this head took me ages to needle felt it quite hard. Whereas the, the carded Shetland walls and things like that are so easy. So again, it's a similar sort of shape. And then we're going to do the nose and I normally do it in pink you can do it in any light color you want it to show up so I need to put a little circle of pink and then we'll tack it onto the nose at the end so um, as you hold it on I sort of just tack around the edge to get it to stay on and then just have a little look and see if it's level when you've done that make sure it's the sort of right way up sometimes I do them a bit more oval it doesn't matter too much see it's sticking out now so now you can needle felt it firmly on I've got quite a few tutorials on just doing certain sheep certain highland cows where it take you through the whole thing and not just the head and so this bit we're going to do two little nostrils dead easy take two little bits of darker wool roll them into a ball and then needle felt them on very simple you could do this for a pig nose as well this would be quite adaptable lovely and that's it if you you don't have to do eyes if you're doing lots of hair over the eyes but this one here I've put lots of wool and you see the shape of his muzzle was very different so I've gone all the way around dark bits and he's actually got a mouth under there as well and he's got um, wool attached all over his face we're going to do that in a minute and his ears are under his horns like I said horns are going to be a separate little video there we go so I self-carded this uh, roving or tops that I had to do the ears because it just it takes ages otherwise so I self-carded it with those carders I've also got another video on tools if you're interested in all the different tools you can get and so I needle felt a similar thing sort of round or oval shape and then put it between the cards and this is the ears that we get I'm trying to speed things up for you um, and if you wanted to do an overall fringe, it's really simple like that, fold through. But I'm going to show you how to do the hair. And this is how you do hair for all sorts of things. For a bear, for a cat, for a dog, um, for a teddy bear, it'd look fantastic. So you needle felt through the middle and then you just trim it short. So needle felt through the middle of a section, make sure it's in, pull it up together and cut it short and they look it looks fantastic when it's all done it just takes time to do this properly it's a little bit wasteful because you cut stuff off but I use it under the tummies sometimes so this is going down the nose to show you how much of a difference it makes trim it off quite short and then he's all fluffy so it is it just takes time so I've done all over his face and so now I'm just needle felting bits in. There's a pair of horns I made, so I just attach those quickly. 
needle felting through either side with a piece of the roving or tops that I'd used and then I do give him a fringe on top of it because I think Highland, Highland cows have a lot of sort of forelock or fringe so needle felt it and then in the middle and then fold it forwards and then just needle felt it down and I do trim it a bit and I give him another bit in the middle because I think it, they do have quite a lot and it looks so much nicer if they've got a big fringe and, and there he is so trim him up and that's a simple Highland cow. I realise I didn't go through the black and white sheep when I got to the end of this um, but you'll see him in a bit and you just build up the eyes and I did the ears in black. He's a Kerry Hill sheep, we'll show him in a minute. So there we go, that's a cow and he's so cute. So there's the two heads. So I've got uh, tutorials on most of these sheep here I think and they're very simple and easy to follow and I hope that's helped. Any comments do let me know, do subscribe and do like the video and thanks for watching. Happy felting everybody. See you again soon.